Within a few feet of the place, he chickened out, turned, and set off for his car again. Where are you going, boy? A woman asked. Carson fell still at the question and considered the remaining distance to the car. While he contemplated ignoring the voice and getting out while the getting was good, he heard a distinct metallic click. Put them arms where I can see them, the woman said. And then you turn about real slow-like. Lifting his arms, Carson did as asked, turning in a slow half-circle until he was facing the house again. He could make out the bulk of someone seated, half hidden in the shifting shadows of the porch. The long barrel of a gun peeked out of the darkness, its cold steel catching the moonlight in that certain special way that only a deadly weapon can. Asked, where are you going, boy? B -b back back to my car, he stammered. I shouldn't have come here. No, you shouldn't have. But you are here now. Ain't you? Carson shrugged, unsure what he was supposed to say. To his delight, the woman lowered the gun, which disappeared into the velvet shadows of the porch. The snap of a match sounded, followed by a flare of light. After she touched the match to a lamp, the single flame became a soft glow, illuminating the porch and its owner to a surprising degree. The woman wasn't just old, she was ancient. Her pale face was shrunken with wrinkles. Her shriveled nose and lips and cheeks looked more like they belonged to a corpse than to a living person. Stringy clumps of gray hair hung to her bony shoulders. A layer of worn and tattered cloth that had long since lost any semblance of clothing only just covered her liver-spotted forearms and lower legs. A pair of the most calloused bare feet Carson had ever seen, bore yellowing, gnarled toenails that threatened to curl back into the very flesh of the owner at any moment. One word leapt to mind as he gaped at her. Hag. In the halo of light sat the living embodiment of every fairy tale witch ever written. Snow White's stepmother would have given her eye tooth for a disguise half as frightening as this old woman's natural appearance. She looked like she had seen the better part of a thousand years and could take another thousand without a second thought. In short, she was creepy, she was scary, and she was disturbing. She was also Carson's last hope. In the time it took to assess her, the old woman struck another match, which she used to light a pipe. Between billowing puffs, she asked, What's your name, son? Carson? He said, Carson Jackson, ma'am.